Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from Five to Go. Uh, we are back on the road, but stick around to the end to find out um, something rather large happened to us. But before we get to that point, apologies for the loud campground. Uh, it is a very family friendly campground. Yes. We are in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and uh, there are going to be some kid noises, so it's sorry. It's what it is. It is what it is. So I, I actually had to write a list of all of the stuff that we need to catch you all up on. It has been a very busy two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, first, thank you to all of you. Oh my goodness. That left comments on the last video. Super nice, just heartwarming, loving yes. comments. Thank you so much. And and also like giving us things to do in Atlanta, which is what most of this list is. Yes. It is stuff you guys told us to go and do. Uh, so thank you guys so very much. We appreciate it very much. So we're just gonna do like a quick run through of what we did in Atlanta and then at the next stop and talk about the new Jeep that's sitting right there off camera. You just said new Jeep. Well, they knew it was a Jeep. How did they know it was a Jeep? We, we said it's going to be a Jeep. Uh, we're getting a Jeep. Like, we're gonna get another Jeep. There's we no, just other, no other vehicles are an option. That's just, that's what it's we what have, that's get. what we want. It's what we're gonna move forward with. So it will be a Wrangler in okay. the last video. Okay. It's going to be a Jeep. It is a Jeep. It is it's, right there. It is beautiful. very different from our last one though. <laughs> It's still a Wrangler, but yeah, so you'll, you'll see that uh, soon. So we're just gonna run through what we did in Atlanta, and then we're going to talk about the Jeep, and then we're going to talk about Brookie's amazing birthday. Oh, yeah. And then, like I teased a second ago at the very end of the video, something huge happened, happened. to us that I have been deathly afraid of since we've started RVing. Yeah. And it happened. So stick around to the end to find out what that was. Uh, so, Atlanta. Atlanta. First, which is what everybody literally said. <laughs> everybody said to go and do, was World of Coke. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, we went to World of Coke. We did that. Um, Explored. We saw the things. The kids were excited. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts? I mean, it was, the tasting room is what everybody talks about. I feel like I would have been happier if I paid half as much. It was expensive. Like, if it was part of a package. For something that wasn't as... Yeah. I don't know. Like there yeah. were things to do and it was kind of cool, but it wasn't like a big thing. Yeah. After World of Coke, we walked uh, five or six blocks into the city to the Marriott Marquis. Yes. And from the outside, it, it is a wholly unremarkable building. It is. But it you is. go inside. And it looks like this. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it is such a cool looking building. And the reason we went it's is because, because Tara said we had to go. Because Tara said we had to go, our yep. teenager. Uh, because it was in the Hunger Games. Um, yeah, it was one it of the hotels in, in the second Hunger the second Games. One. Yep. It's where they put the tributes. Yeah, the tributes. Were, yeah, so they, they used that as the uh, the hotel. And mm -hmm. then it was also in Loki season one yep. on Disney+. Plus. where the TVA is. Yep, the TVA. So we actually we found where we think they put the cameras to film stuff. And obviously yeah. they like put in statues and did set CGI extensions and, and did stuff, a bunch yeah. of stuff. But the building itself is is wicked cool looking, like, yeah. it is so cool. So after the Marriott Marquis, we walked back towards World of Coke mm -hmm. uh, to Olympic Park. That was and, cool. Uh, Aaron and I are old enough to remember the Olympics in Atlanta and remember that there was a bombing there mm -hmm. and remember the games and like the ceremonies and stuff. So it was neat to see that area. They have rings up. So we got to explain to the kids, you know, what, what the, the colors, colors of the, the rings, rings are. Mean. Yep. Um, and then it's just a really beautiful area. Mm -hmm. So the last few weeks have been pretty stressful mm -hmm. with losing the Jeep and getting stuck in Atlanta and all this other stuff that's been going on. It's just been a nightmare during mm -hmm. the day. But we've been trying out this mattress from RV Mattress for the last three months. Yeah. And it has actually been really nice, really good timing. <laughs> yes, for sure. Because <laughs> while the days have been terrible and awful, I've been sleeping really, really well. I can tell. I can tell a real difference. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, good. I, Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, we've had this for three months now. You guys saw us talk about this in a previous video. You know, we had just received it. We had just unboxed it, mm -hmm. laid it out. And we hadn't actually slept on it yet. Nope. So, now that we've been on it for three months, what are your thoughts? It's so much more comfortable and, like, my back feels better supported, even though I am a side sleeper. Mm -hmm. Like, the way I lay in this bed is so much better than I laid in the other one. Um, and it's really cooling. Which yeah, so I know Brian the, uh, loves. <laughs> yeah, we have the signature hybrid and we added the cooling pillow top. Mm -hmm. And I sleep a lot cooler. Like, I sleep very hot. Mm -hmm. And this has actually, like, it is so strange. You walk in here and put your hand on it. It it's is cool. colder than the rest of the room. Yeah. I don't know what's in it. Whatever <laughs> it is, 
it does it's the magic. trick. I, I really like that. So a couple other cool things about these mattresses is they are made to order right here in the USA when mm -hmm. you order one. And if you order one with our promo code rvmattress.com slash five to go, you will get 25% off of your order and you'll get free shipping and they have a 10 year warranty which is really nice for a mattress because awesome. things can happen, sides can fall, yep. whatever can wear out, 10 year warranty, you don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. uh, you also have a, I believe it's 120 night uh, like sleep guarantee where you get to try it out like we have. Mm -hmm. If you like it, you keep it. If you don't, you swap it out. Super easy, super cool. Yep. Um, so like I said, we have the signature hybrid with the pillow top. Uh, if you have a tilt -a king like we do. It does work, it does just work. fine. Yes, the signature hybrid works just fine. And for those of you without RVs, they are, uh, RV Mattress is actually a sub company or however that works mm -hmm. of Brooklyn Bedding. Right. And Brooklyn Bedding makes mattresses of all sizes for residential applications. So even if you don't have an RV, you can still use our discount code on yeah. one of their normal mattresses for your house. But if you have an RV and you have slept on the mattress in your RV, you know that this is worth so the money. Better. <laughs> so much better. So much better. And then the next day, because so many of you so many of you again if world of coke was number one yeah going to eat at varsity was, was number, number two. two on all the things it might have been number one it could have been so tied for first world of coke and then going to eat at varsity um i can see why it is a local institution yes it was good for what it was and it was cheap it was very cheap it's yeah. a hot dog place basically i guess they had hot yeah. dogs and hamburgers because we were in the South and I love this. I got a hot dog with like pimento cheese on it that oh, just got that all good. meltily and yeah. bubbly and oh, it was yeah, delicious. And, and then I got dog. a slaw dog yeah. and that was one of their things is a slaw dog. Yeah, so, so if you've if you've never been to Varsity, stick to the hot dogs. Yeah, they were really, really yeah, good. Yeah, the hot dogs were good. Um, and the they- onion rings were really good. The fries were really good. Like, yeah, the hamburger was a letdown for me. And their orange drink, I don't remember if it was fizzy or not, but Ben loved it. And so it, it's yeah. like orange high C, I think, but they make like uh, orange cream floats yeah. out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was one of the things they had, but very cool, like aesthetic inside. And yeah, there's a very large bug flying oh around down here. Oh my goodness. I don't <laughs> if I know. just run off, it's because it's flown out. I don't know what that is. After that, we went to the Martin Luther King uh, National Historic, Historic Site. Park? Historic, Historic site? site. Don't remember yeah. the exact nomenclature. Yeah. But it's really, really nice. Music. It's where all of the MLK stuff is down yeah. there. It's, it's down by the church. It's down by where he was born. It's, it's just a lot of stuff. Yeah. And they have a very extensive Junior Ranger book. Mm -hmm. Like it took us a long time to get through it um but they would have like all of the displays and the like you know writings up about like the different pictures that they had up there but then mm -hmm. at the bottom they would have it's like, like a blue it, plaque. yeah it was a blue plaque along every single one of them that you were looking at and it would kind of like break things down into words that a fourth grader would understand and yep. it wasn't so much so many names and so many dates it was just mm -hmm. like this kind of thing happened and it led to this yeah. and gave Big, hold on, it's flying around again. He's going the other way. Okay. Um, nope, he's coming back. Nope, he's going <laughs> over. He's checking out the Jeep. And very sobering place as well. Yes. Like some of the well, of some course. of the stuff to read and some of the videos to watch are very hard to watch. As you would expect. But it's I mean, necessary to know about. Ex it's absolutely. just worth going to for sure. Absolutely. Um, and then uh, kind of, we did a few other little various things, mm -hmm. but most importantly, we went and saw Barbie. We did go see the Barbie movie. With our friends. Yep, and we, we wore our pink and our blue and um, yep. had it was a good fantastic. time. I cried. It was fantastic. Like three different times. Yeah. It great was a great movie. movie. Great movie. Super fun. Super touching in a lot yes. of ways, especially if you have daughters or if you are a, a daughter. Woman. It was great, <laughs> great movie. So then um, we got some news from the entrance that the black Jeep, I'm going to start calling total. it the black Jeep the black for Jeep. a reason. Uh, the black Jeep was totaled. Yeah. Which... I was happy to hear. Yes. Because given the way that it was hit, everything was kind of shifted to the side. We went backwards at highway speeds. There's no way there that- There would have always been something damage. wrong, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, exactly. It's one of those things where, yeah, you get it repaired, you'd get it back on the road, but then like- Something else happens. Everything and... would be tweaked just enough where things wear out faster. So, yeah. black Jeep totaled, gone, sad. Ish, like, yeah. I had to go over, like after we found out that it was totaled, I went over to the collision place that did the assessment. And I, I pulled off um, like the side steps and stubby uh, antenna and like phone mount stuff and the locking rear trunk. Like I pulled stuff off of that Jeep that I wanted to move to the next one because I knew we were getting a Wrangler again. I don't, I, I don't get attached to things. No, not normally. But I was sad like Aww. driving away from that for the last time. <clears throat> what the hell? No. <laughs> 
because... <clears throat> we did a lot in that Jeep. We saw a lot of things. We carried our children around in that Jeep. Like, yep. it was a... It was a good time. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got Barbie and he got the <clears throat> Jeep. <laughs> but we were able to go and see and do things in that Jeep that we could not have done with any other vehicle. It's true. Which is why we got another one. And, and all the stickers were on it, the badges. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this from you. <laughs> yep. We did, we had to take all the stickers off. <clears throat> and yeah, those pretty little badges that we got from going over tops of mountain passes and that Jeep as, Lord. as just like a step up from stock that it was and was able to make it up and keep us safe and do all of those things. Yep. And um, so it was. <clears throat> so. <laughs> We found another one. We found another <clears throat> Jeep. Found Jeez, another Jeep. That took me by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so that Jeep was totaled. And uh, we found out that it could take up to six weeks. I was a little livid on the phone talking oh to the Oh my Lord, people. we were hot. <laughs> like, oh my like God. Hot. We've just been, it has been such a mess. So, yeah. Just jerking, like, it is now. We and are, I get a different thing every time I call we someone. We are three and a half weeks past yeah. this accident now. Four? Four weeks? We're, it Still has don't been have a settlement several weeks. from it. Still nothing. No payout. No update. No, no, nothing. no update. No like fair market value. None of that crap has been done. We are nope. so angry. It just... But we decided to move on because <laughs> we knew that Jeep was totaled. Yep. We couldn't just keep sitting in Atlanta letting all of these reservations and all this other stuff and all these other yeah. plans just die on the vine. Because a lot of them we were not able to get refunds on. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just... We couldn't just keep sitting there yeah. because other people were being lazy and not doing their jobs. So I reached out to um, a different bank and I'm gonna crap all over one bank, but I'm going to praise Navy Federal <laughs> because Navy Federal talked with us. We told them what was going on. We explained that the Jeep we had was in an accident. It was totaled and we that we- were kind of stranded in the middle of somewhere else. We were stranded and... 500 miles from home and we were in the, the very beginning of this trip and mm -hmm. we had a Wrangler because we were towing it mm -hmm. and they worked with us and hooked us up with the funds to purchase yes. this other Jeep. Yes. We had been looking on Car Trader and RV Trade, not RV Auto Trader, Trader Auto Trader, all, all of that, that stuff. Yeah. And I was like, let me just check on Facebook Marketplace just yep. to see what's around here in case somebody was like, I don't want to pay yeah. to get it put up. We found one that was how many miles away? 90 miles away? Well, so it was next to our next stop. So the next stop on our trip after Atlanta mm -hmm. was Carolina Landing, in Thousand Fair Trails, yep. uh, just across the border in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And uh, this Jeep, the, this now what we are going to refer to as the Blue Jeep. The Blue Jeep, this is very uh, blue. Was for sale there, private party. Mm -hmm. And um, it checked see in all a of the boxes. Here, it checks all the boxes. Yeah, it had all the <laughs> things that we wanted on our first Jeep that we couldn't get on our first Jeep because things were not being made because it was 2021 and there was still pandemic oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. there, you know, we couldn't get certain chips for this and certain for that. And so this one has all the boxes checked. Yeah, so the, the quick list is, it's a 2019 uh, Sahara edition-ish, but it's a Moab, which is stuff built on top of the Sahara level. Yep. So it has all of the tech package, it has all the leather, it has all the nice stuff on the inside. On the outside, uh, it also has really nice rock rail slash steps. Yep. It has extra lighting, which, you know. The lighting is a little intense. It's funny. When we're driving at night, I'll turn them both on when there's nobody around and it, like, it ignites like... the trees. Um, uh, <laughs> but it has black wheels, the wheels actually that I was looking for for the black Jeep. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a two and a half inch lift. The tires are 35 inches. Um, it has a winch and these steel Rubicon bumpers in stubby mode and it has the hood most importantly different. to us the thing we were looking for the most yes. and we were 95% sure we were not going to be able to find because it's it's so hard to find it was the one touch sky top where it's a hard top like if you look at it from the outside it's a hard top but on the inside on the center of the roof is a fabric piece and yeah. you just hit a button and the whole thing slides back. Yes. revealing the sky. We actually have more storage area in the back mm -hmm. now and it's easier to get into the back because when you pull open the tailgate and the soft top you had to like disconnect the window and toss it up I over the top. I would never do it. 
she never figured out how to do it. <laughs> um, but in this one, you just open the tailgate and you lift the Lock glass, the and yeah. now it's open. So Yay. easier. We for are us. much happier with the glass. Mm -hmm. uh, glass in the back of the rear. It's also more secure. It's easier to um, see out of too. Yep, and it's all tinted. That's another thing that the previous owners did. Is they tinted mm -hmm. the front and side, not the windshield, but all the other windows mm -hmm. that weren't tinted in the black Jeep. Yeah. So this will be much better back down in Florida in the winter. <laughs> uh, we decided to um, change our strategy for stickers a little bit yes. on this one. So yeah. on the black Jeep, uh, we had the, um, what is it? National Park Geek mm -hmm, the um, big circle, circle one. in one of the windows. Cause again, soft top, we couldn't use the back yeah. windows with stickers. So we had it in that little side window kind of next to where Tara sat. And then we only put the stickers of the national parks that that Jeep went to and visited because yeah. we had limited amount of space in this window we don't anymore we do not have a limit of space now <laughs> so now that we have a big window in the back on the blue jeep uh we have that same sticker i was able to find another mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. and now we have stickers for all of the national all parks. of the ones we've been to and these are the anderson design group stickers so they're that beautiful we absolutely love so we have all of these stickers from all of the places and we put number 37 on at our next stop, which was New River Gorge. Yeah, in West Virginia. Which is one of the, one new, of the newer It's the new, parks. like, the baby national park, Baby right? national <laughs> park. So 37 out yep. of 63 national parks. Now, we've been to 100 of, like, oh, the monuments all the other things, all monuments, other stuff, historical yeah. sites, all that kind of stuff. But yeah. the national parks get their yeah. own little sticker. Last time we counted in her <clears throat> stamp book, she has one of the big stamp books. Last time we counted mm. in there, uh, Tara and I counted, this was, like, a year and a half ago. There were 416 stamps probably like another 150 or so by now like yeah this girl i loves love my stamps, stamps. <laughs> i'm a little obsessed with getting stamps yep. so we've got the we've got the national park stickers on the blue jeep it's and uh, we love it it's a fantastic jeep mm -hmm. and uh we're going to put it through its paces because that's what you do with a jeep so I why did we go it. to new river gorge other than it's a national park there was something very important that you wanted to do so we were going to be there over brooke's birthday and we like to do fun things um, overfilling the RV with a bunch of junk and stuff that the kids will play with for a week. Experiences are better than toys yeah. and things and that make noise and slime and treats so, that eaten and yeah. One of our expensive things that we like budgeted for to do this time, I found a group or whatever. Ace Adventures. Ace Adventures that will take as young as, oh, that bug is back. <laughs> Ooh. As fine. young as six-year-olds down the upper New River because mm -hmm. it's it's not rafting. that yeah white water rafting, um, and so the kids are seven and her birthday was that day so she had just turned nine. All five of us got up really early oh, yeah. and went over and got ready to be in one of the big rafts, not one of the little ones. Mm -hmm. And we went down with Miss Kayla, and she was amazing helping us out. And we went down the river and we did three mm. class three. Yes, yes, three yeah. class three rapids, mm -hmm. which I was a little nervous about with my babies <laughs> up in the front, yeah. but everybody did great. Yep. Um, Brooke was a real trooper helping us um, paddle, paddle yep. except for when Kayla told her she didn't want her to paddle because she didn't want her to freak out on some of the bigger yeah, rapids. When we, did, and so, um, when we dropped down surprise, surprise, Kayla said no kids with paddles in the water because yep. she, she knew they'd just get snatched out of their hands. Right. So that she just wanted the kids holding on. And that was fine. Yeah. Um, and I was nervous too. Like... So Aaron's going to run away while this yeah, thing buzzes Yeah, holy around. moly. <laughs> In my mind, white water rafting has always been uh, like a really intense, like scary, awful thing. <laughs> no, this one wasn't. This one wasn't at all. So no. if, you're, if you're nervous about doing something like that, but it's something that you think would be fun, it 100% is. It was fun. And the it upper was new fun. was like total rip off the band-aid. Like <laughs> they look good. bigger than they feel. And it well, was the we size were in the of the big boat. We were like too. a 14-foot raft yeah like an eight person 14 foot raft and you know some of the stuff was you look at it you're like holy crap like it's gonna drop it really wasn't it was okay that bad. it was okay i think uh, kayla said we could do the lower new so and if you're so ever in that area look up it. ace adventures ask for kayla she's amazing <laughs> she's great um do the upper new mm -hmm. like if you've never done white rider rafting port like i was nervous the whole time i just was trying to not psych myself out of it i was like it can't be that bad I like they're so allowing many children yeah like it just can't be that bad mm -hmm. and it wasn't uh, so again Cannot recommend that more. If you are in that area, New River Gorge National Park is cool. White Rider Rafting is even cooler. And the campground we stayed at was amazing. Oh, yeah. Summersville Lake Retreat, Retreat and, and Lighthouse. And, lighthouse. Yeah. and it was a little spendy, um, yeah. but I wanted to make sure that we could fit, you know, with this 
behemoth here. And so I found one that I, you know, saw big rigs in and yeah, stuff. And yeah. there weren't, wasn't a lot of tree cover because the yeah. kids started school. And so it was just a whole big thing. Yeah. Um, Nicest campus. But it was so nice. And the, yeah, yeah, the people were amazing. Yeah. Um, so if you're up there, check them out. Uh, and then after that, uh, this, this is the end of this video. Yeah. Because uh, as we were heading from New River Gorge, to yeah. our next stop, That's which was Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, to visit family. Um, this happened. So, yeah, one of my mortal fears, especially since I've been driving a motorhome, yeah. is a blowout. And we're going to talk all we'll about, about that it next time. in the next video. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you again for all of the amazing comments. Love them. On the previous video and all, all of our videos. Mm -hmm. You guys are super, super nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want to see more from Atlanta and from the rafting trip and mm -hmm. all of that. I'm going to put together a video for our patrons that has a lot more uh, footage and commentary and, and all that and... from those stops. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to see all that, check us out at 5 togocom slash roadrunners. Become a roadrunner, you get access to that video, other videos we've done, live streams we do yep. when we remember to, and uh, we also have private channels on our Discord server where we are in there chatting all the time. So I think she's getting eaten by ants. Yep. <laughs> and we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.